Hey folks, welcome back to the Ed the Impala Guy channel and our new build reveal. Sorry it's about a week late. Uh, we had some things that came up and um, kind of prevented me from uh, kind of doing this. So anyhow, uh, here she is. It's a 2011 uh, Impala LTZ with about 135,000 miles on it. And no, it's not a Copart car, it's not an auction car, it's not a wreck car. What this is, is car that belonged to a gentleman I work with and he would come to me often for advice on Impalas and the maintenance and the last thing he came to me about was his transmission was slipping between uh, the shift from third to fourth and I said it sounds like the shift solenoids are going bad you better get that taken care of and he's like yeah 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 I'll, I'll, I'll do it at some point and um, a couple months later here we are so like I said it's not an auction car as a matter of fact that's a Chevy dealer right there and I'm in their overflow parking lot in their employee parking lot what happened was is that this uh, gentleman was on the way to the dealership to trade this thing in when the transmission totally quit he literally glided into the service bay and uh, that's the last she ever drove now uh, it's kind of dirty right now it was definitely a well-loved and well-used uh, Impala but um, Looks like the only option it didn't have was the sunroof, but uh, I think it'll clean up nicely. Um, the transmission, on the other hand, is shot. Uh, looks like he broke the drive band. I can uh, go forward in uh, one and two, but there's no drive and we lose reverse, so that probably also means the fourth gear reverse um, valve body is shot. Um, when you start it up, you can hear the the pump whine just whine in the um, in the transmission so uh, also we have a little bit of front bumper damage there which uh, that's no big deal anyhow the uh, the plan for this sucker is uh, we're gonna drop a remanufactured transmission in this thing and call it good uh, other than cleaning it up making pre making it presentable for sale um, that's gonna be about the extent of the rebuild on this one so if you've never changed a transmission in an Impala before, um, I know there's a few videos out on YouTube showing, uh, showing how to do it. Uh, most of them are dropping it out the bottom by dropping the cradle. Uh, that's easy to do if you have a hoist. If you don't have a hoist, that's darn near impossible. Um, so we may just pull the engine and transmission out as one unit, separate it, and then sink it back in unless I find a way to uh, bring this thing about two feet off the ground which actually, I'd rather do it that way. I'd rather actually take it out the bottom. It's a whole lot easier, a whole lot less disassembly. So we've got her hooked up to the Super Suburban and um, it's about an 11 mile ride home. And we'll get her off the trailer when we get there. It, hopefully it will at least roll backwards. I know it, it drives forward. I drove it up on the trailer. Um, so that was a good sign. Um, like I said, uh, hopefully it will back off of the trailer or at least roll off and uh, we'll get it in the garage and uh, hence the new project. So give me a minute to get back home and I'll update you then and uh, we'll take it from there. Thanks. All right, folks, we're home. Now all we need to do is get it off the trailer and up into the garage. Hope that all goes well. Um, you never can tell with something that doesn't have much of a transmission in it. Although it did it did drive up on the trailer, so it looks like it has first gear at least. Um, and I know the one time I started it and put it in reverse, it had reverse for just a little bit, and then it didn't have reverse after that for a little, you know, once the, the pump kind of warmed up, it, the reverse went away. So I'm hoping that it has enough of a reverse to get it off the trailer. And then really all I need is drive after that because it's going to drive up the driveway and into the garage. So anyhow, uh, we got to uh, get the black car out of the garage. Uh, it's time and the garage is over. And now this, uh, this one's going to have its spot in there for a little bit. Anyhow, let me get this thing uh, off the trailer and uh, be back to you in a second.
folks, you can see we got it up here at the garage. Um, it actually came off the trailer pretty well. Uh, we, we had reverse, we had drive. Oh, we didn't have drive, we had first uh, first gear, so we managed to get it up the driveway. Um, so let's, uh, let's take our first really close look at it here in its natural state. It's an LTZ. Um, it's a 2011. It has 135,000 miles on it. Um, it's kind of dirty in here. Um, a lot of dog hair, a lot of dirt. Other than that, the interior is in pretty good shape. It's got the Bose uh, sound system. Uh, back seat's about the same. Dog hair, dirt, crackers, crumbs. There's a dog cookie under there. Uh, the last couple weeks, this car has actually sat outside under a, some kind of berry tree. It's got um, bird poop and berry stains um, and all kinds of good stuff on it. The, uh, the floor mat over here was a fairly well torn up. I've already got it in the garage. Uh, the only uh, interior portion of it that's got any wear is this driver's seat has some checking. Other than that, like I said, it's just dirty. Uh, we'll take a look at the engine here. It's missing the engine cover. Uh, luckily, a uh, crash over there has the same engine cover. We can see the the chipmunks or the mice or somebody have been having a picnic up on my uh, intake manifold. Anyhow, um, like I said, I I know the guy that owned this car. He had it from about a hundred or from about twenty nine thousand miles um, in two thousand and eleven uh, to you know one hundred thirty five thousand miles, and he had this car serviced at the dealer. Everything in here is dealer serviced. Yes, that is an AC Delco replacement battery. He just had the struts done not too long ago. They are GM replacement struts, all four corners. That cost him $1,700. Um, we've got Goodyear Eagle uh, tires on three wheels, and they look like they're almost brand new tread depth, except for this one back here. On the driver's rear is a Toyo, for some reason. Um, Toyo Pro... Procast 4? Something like that. Anyhow, it, it's not a Goodyear Eagle. So I don't know why, uh, why the odd tire. Uh, it does have good tread depth. It's got a lot of tread left on it, so... I don't know what the deal is with that. I mean, you can also see the dog nose prints all over the inside of the windows. So basically, the first thing we're going to do to this car is I'm going to do it right now before it gets pulled into the garage is I'm going to wash it. I'm going to get all this stuff off the exterior and get it at least somewhat clean so uh, we can start the, the cleaning process. And that's going to be uh, the initial stages of this. I'm going to get this thing cleaned up probably a clay bar and buff the paint get the outside looking all good while i'm waiting for the transmission to arrive so we're going to order a reman transmission from a place called street smart transmissions they offer a three-year parts and labor warranty um they will if it goes it's unlimited mileage if the thing fails in three years they will not only send you a new transmission they will pay up to fifty dollars a book hour for the labor so if you do it yourself you get to bill them fifty dollars an hour for whatever the book says it should take to replace the tranny which i think is like six hours something like that six or maybe eight um so anyhow uh they seem to be have a real good product really well reviewed um it's either that or you know a place like uh autozone or some of these other transmission places and uh this this place seems to have the best warranty and also they um they don't require a core charge as long as you ship it back within 30 days. Um, so that's the big thing is most of all these other places like Rock Auto and AutoZone are going to charge you $400 for a core charge. And then you'll get that back when you send your transmission back. This place, Street Smart Transmissions, um, no core charge as long as they receive the transmission within 30 days of them of, it, of you getting it. So um, you got to have your, your work schedule planned out 
and at least have the old transmission out of the car within 30 days of receiving the new one. If you were a smart dude, you'd have the transmission sitting on the ground ready to go or sitting the old one out of the car and ready to go by the time the new one arrives and then, uh, you know, just ship, put it in the case and uh, ship it back. They also, uh, their transmissions come with a brand new torque converter and uh, all the fluid you'll need to uh, refill the uh, the transmission. They've also done all the updates to the transmission, the 4T65Es. Um, they've done all the updates and strengthened all the internal parts so this kind of stuff doesn't happen again. More than likely, this broke the drive band because, um, like I said, I still have first and second, so I uh, just have no drive, um, which is fairly common in these cars. So anyhow, uh, like I said, uh, we're going to wash it tonight, and I will check you guys out in the morning. Have a good night. All right, folks, it's the next morning. We uh, gave her a wash job last night, cleaned her up as best we could. Um, the paint does have all the micro scratches like these usually do from, uh, you know, years of uh, going through the car washes and stuff like that. Uh, people not taking proper care of their paint. Um, so we'll get that corrected. Uh, we'll use the buffer and uh, the chemical guys uh compounds and we'll get her uh, shined up really nice um, the exterior is it's in really good shape as, as far as the paint quality it's like i said it's just got the, the little fine scratches you can kind of see them up here in the in the reflection and that like i said that's fairly common um it cleaned up really well it's a good looking car uh, my wife was actually very impressed with it she's talking about maybe trading her uh, blue 2008 for this one um We'll see, but uh, like I said, the, the stages on this is we're going to get it cleaned up. I'm going to get a transmission ordered, and then we're going to, to uh, swap the transmission in it, and it should be good to go other than uh, this front bumper. I don't know if I showed you this last night, but got a nice crack in the bumper, so we will probably be repairing, or not repairing that, but replacing that. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to paint it myself or I'm going to order one already painted. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Cost-wise, it's probably going to be a wash. Um, the, the replacement uh, one painted from RevMoto is a 550. Um, by the time I buy it, prep it, paint it, install it, I'm going to have to buy a gun to be able to paint it with my small compressor and all the filters and all that, I've, I'll probably have 550 just in that. The only thing is I'd have the gun and all the equipment left over afterwards. So we'll see. Um, I'm probably leaning towards just ordering a bumper. And that way I know it's painted right and I'm not gonna have to dick with it at all. And then I can keep this bumper and put it on crash out there or something if I ever get crash going. So anyhow, uh, that's going to be uh, it for this uh, video. Uh, welcome to the new build. Um, this will not take six or eight months like the last one did. This is not going to be 20 videos long, maybe, you know, two, three, four videos. But I wanted to give you an introduction to the car. I don't have a name for it yet. Um, that usually My wife usually names them. So anyhow, uh, have a great Saturday. Uh, we're going to be doing this and some yard work, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.